Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. A little project going on today. Caught in some reinforcements to give me a hand with this. We're uh, starting into shiitake mushrooms. Well, I'm not starting, I'm actually starting outdoor culture. I've been growing shiitakes indoor uh, spring and summer this year and uh, oysters and all that stuff. Got into, uh, you know, edible mushrooms. Uh, you know, forage some, you know, out in the wild too, but uh, wanted to have my own, you know, all mushrooms fresh at all times. Been really enjoying the pink oysters, blue oysters, and shiitakes all summer. Just let me tell you, this is delicious, delicious mushrooms. Got an example log here. I'm gonna show you the whole, the whole works, the whole DIY process, how to make plug spawn into a log. Um, not really gonna get into the scientific part or the, you know, the mycology aspect of it a lot today. Just more of, you know, what do you do to plug, plug a log with a plug spawn. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a species of hardwood or softwood depending on your your species some species like softwood some like hardwood so we got some uh, sugar maple right here and we're going to be doing shiitakes on this log here so different you have to look up whatever species you want to grow they like a different wood different diameter and all that so i got uh some four to six inch logs uh depends on you know, the thickness of the log diameter of how long it take to colonize and fruit on that log. The bigger log will fruit many more years, but it takes longer to establish. So anyhow, on to, on to the, the, the meat and potatoes of the, or the meat and the mushrooms of the, of the video, right? So we got your selected species of wood. And what you're gonna need with that, you're gonna need some basic, simple tools. You'll need your spawn. We're using North Spores shiitake. This is a wide range shiitake. Uh, so it's a 500 bag So let me show you what the uh, plug spawn looks like They colonize it on uh, Grain and then they put the wood dowels in there and you see the the white on the dowel That's the mycelium the shiitake mycelium that's going to go into this log so Get that from a reputable vendor. I like North Spore had good results of their products and then you're gonna need their special drill bit It's just a fancy little drill bit right here it's perfect depth for setting them plugs um, it's sharpenable with a chainsaw file stuff like that so go ahead it's worth it trust me it's worth it to get the special drill bit it saves so much time you can even get an angle grinder adapter and stuff to be even faster just using a regular old you know regular old battery drill just regular you know set your chuck whatever you know get it for your species so it don't stall on you but not enough so it's going to yank you if you catch a knot uh, you'll need wax we're using soy wax from North Spore. Uh, this is old old kettle we, uh, or excuse me, a pan that we we melt beeswax in, so it stains. We just use it for exclusively for wax. So there's that, and a little you can use a dauber or a brush. You know, we just use the brush. I'm um, gonna go over all this in more detail through the video. This is just introducing the the components. And uh, you know, if you want gloves, safety glasses, that's good too. And then a hammer to knock the plugs in. So. Uh, Here's the stages right here on this log, and then I'm gonna go through it in the video step by step. So you got your, uh, you drill your holes, and then you insert your plugs, and then you drive the plugs, and then wax the plugs, and then stack the logs. Pretty simple, right? I mean, that's that's basically all there is to it. And then, uh, you know, there's some other things we'll, we'll talk about toward the end of the video, but let me show you uh, some action shots of, of how to do this. My mother-in-law, she is uh, helping us do the mushrooms. She's drilling. Then we got the filling crew back here in the back. Here is the plugging process. Just go down the log there and put your uh, put your plugs down in the holes that you drilled. You ain't gonna worry about getting them in at this point. We'll show you how to do that too in just a second. Once you got your plugs stubbed in, gonna do it a quarter of a turn. So you know if you got two rows showing like this right here, you know do them too. And then Mrs. Off Grid's gonna show you how to finalize it before you turn it. Just hammer them in. Just flush with the top of the. Bark on the log right there. That's all you gotta do, hammer and flush. Oh, she missed one. Missed That's one. Okay. You can pick that up in just a second. Hang on, one, one thing at all. 
just work down your log and then you know, if you're using a bunch of people you can switch to the other side and so on and so forth just hand it off and there you go first on the other side a pallet hammering them in to strengthen numbers don't take long to drill them and plug a log the drilling's the longest part of it here's the missus she is doing the wax seal on the plugs wax seal helps hold in moisture prevent contamination etc so the mycelium can take over this log colonize it and then start getting some mushrooms but you know just got a little uh, little setup you can use a crock pot or whatever we just use the little aluminum pot here we'll melt beeswax and everything else in that one so we we'll just use it for the soy wax we bought the prepackaged soy wax for run out uh, of course we got beeswax we can use which that'd be fine too or paraffin uh, just you're wanting to seal in that moisture and you know, some people seal the ends some don't we're in a very humid climate so we're not going to seal the ends of these logs uh dry climates i think it's recommended to uh seal the ends up but eh, far from that except minus this little little drought dry spell we're having at the moment it really does it doesn't it so if you do have to do a second yeah, coat maybe. let it dry and start if you see a little gap or anything you need to come back and touch it up but that's sealed pretty good yeah, and uh, we're nice. using a little little paintbrush you can use a dauber whatever you got yeah. So, uh, you know, the wax, a uh, little cheap paintbrush and, you know, throwing the wax on, you can throw it away when you're done. So, you know, just a little uh, wax application, whatever floats your boat and finds it, uh, that it works properly. So, the method's working just fine. And just go back over once you get your, once your wax starts setting up. Remember I was telling you about one that had a little gap? There you go, just hit it again. And uh, fill it in, make sure it's sealed. Just like that. And once you get done doing all the waxing and stuff, then find you a nice shady spot. I pick the little spot right here. A little corner, it always stays pretty damp, so we'll stack them log, log cabin method. Log cabin style, just crisscrossed up. That helps hold the moisture in the center. And of course, you know, you need to keep them hydrated until they start fruiting and stuff. So not an all-inclusive video on mushroom growing, just, you know, just hitting some of the high points, the, the hands-on part of it, not covering the science or anything like that behind it. Just basically the the physical aspect of it but there's the start of the pile and i'll show you the the end of the pile here in just a minute so once you get all that work done and then stack your logs up i'm gonna show you the finished pile here these maples so that those maple logs equate to what it, you know 500 plugs will do this amount following the uh you know the the common installation instructions if you will for plugging uh logs but uh, you can see the see the size of them. You know, we got some threes and fours, you know, fives and sixes, and you know, some of them about seven or eight on the bottom. So, uh, you know, the the bigger ones will take longer to fruit or uh, to make mushrooms, and then the smaller smaller logs will fruit quicker but yield less. You know, you can yield you know three years or so out of that log, and probably get you know six to eight years out of that log. You know, once it starts making mushrooms now it's going to take it two or three more years to get started but you'll have a longer harvest but you know that's that's the gist of it more or less i mean it's pretty easy um it's really interesting you know getting into in the mushroom mushroom cultivation and especially when being able to forage you know a lot morals and oysters and stuff and chicken of the woods and you find it's awesome so that's you know good survival stuff too to be able to identify you know edible mushrooms and all that but you know there's a there's one pile Got another, uh, gonna save some of my shiitake plug spawn to do oak with, cause oak's the best. Uh, I just wanna experiment around with different different stuff and then uh, got some blue oyster plugs I'm gonna be putting in some poplar. Um, you know, some sweet gum, stuff like that, so. Blue oyster in a totem, that's buried in the ground. Bring moisture in, that's plugged, it's totem style, so mushrooms come out to the side. Blue oyster and poplar and there's shiitake so you know pretty good little start you know just a just a little uh little mushroom stuff today hope y'all enjoyed it uh oh, one more thing before i let you go um i did four foot length logs a lot of people do threes but it just worked out our pallet was four foot so we just use four foot logs you know whatever you want but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you don't mind, please hit that like button. I'd greatly appreciate that if I earned it. Um, if you're not subscribed, I'd greatly appreciate a subscription from you. 
and uh, questions or anything, go ahead and put in the comments. So if there's a lot of interest in this, this is something I can keep doing. I can show you indoor uh, blocks you can just grow right in your windowsill in your kitchen. It's so easy. You can have fresh mushrooms all the time in your house, but just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching the Off Mountain Homestead. Y'all have a wonderful day.